We're playing something a little different today. I um, This one is a short um, indie horror game called Bug House. I don't know what it's about. All I know is I, I read that it's gotten some pretty good reviews. People seem to like it. And, you know, it's lo-fi. And you know me. I love lo-fi light horror. So we're going to... Um, we're gonna play through this today. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I, uh, I, I have no expectations, so it can only go up from here. Am I sure? Yes, I want to play. Yes, let's play this. Assuming it didn't just freeze on me. Oh, okay, it didn't freeze. <laughs> Thankfully it didn't freeze. Christopher from Doctors. Pick up Christopher's Aripipro... What? Aripiprazol pills, I guess. <laughs> Groceries. See Mother on the 6th. Uh, oh my god! Oh my god, what was that? Talk to in-laws about funeral arrangements. Christopher's playdate 15th. Okay, meeting play center. Okay, well I guess those are things. I guess, yeah, that was a, a, a little loud. I feel like I'm really short. I mean, I know I'm really short in real life, but uh, that was yeah, that was extremely loud. But I feel a little, a little short here. Like, look at this chest. It's like right up to me. Like, I'm not even. Oh, see, I can crouch, but like, I'm very short in this game. Okay. Look it, I am at doorknob. <laughs> I'm at doorknob level. My eyes. Alright, well, nothing in here. Close that. Okay, same pictures all over. What am I even doing? Alright, this is... Let's go downstairs. Let's, let's go downstairs. BB-10, oh my god, it's so loud. What is this? Newspaper, man found dead by... God, the sound is really loud. I'm going to have to turn it down some. Man found dead by 13-year-old boy on October 31st. Unnamed... All right, I, hold on. I, I'll have to walk... <laughs> nothing. You, you haven't missed anything. i got to turn this volume down some. All right, man found dead by 13-year-old boy. On October 31st, an unnamed child found his father hanging in their family home after a supposed divorce between, a supposed divorce, either it's a divorce or it's not, between the parents. This has been the 12th suicide this year relating to spouse-related issues. Police aren't expecting foul play. In the neighboring town of Maston, three teenagers and one Police officer M. Andrews 
were found brutally murdered in the Miller and Son slaughterhouse. It is still unclear what happened within this abandoned slaughterhouse, but officials say it has made all officers and EMTs who arrived at the scene resign. Being too gruesome to describe, these officials are now seeking psychiatric therapy. Uh, the Greenfield Raiders scored 24 points last night against the Maxwell Bandits, helping boost them to the top of the Major League for this Sunday's game. Little League has reportedly been canceled for this evening due to severe weather warnings issued by Greenfield weather and analysts. Severe flooding and thunderstorms are apparent, ouch, and could cause major power outages. You mean like that one right now? Oh my god, did I just get a power outage while I was, uh reading the newspaper. Oh my god. Note from mom. Okay, so all this stuff is happening while I'm trying to read. Chore list. Chores to, to complete. Clean up the dirt on the floor. Do the dishes. Do the laundry. Food into dog bowl. Take your pills. So, that's dirt. Alright, I cleaned up the dirt. No, dear Christopher, I've left a list of chores for you to complete whilst we're away tonight. If you have any problems, give Nana a call. Please don't forget your pills. If anyone comes to the door or window tonight, please go to your closet and lock the door. What? If the power goes out, the fuse box is in the basement. I love you so much, Christopher. Just know Papa is watching down, down on you. He was so proud of his little boy. Love, Mom. You know what, Mom? You know what's not right? If you loved me so much, why would you leave me home alone? And if 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 someone is outside the window, that I should just go hide in my closet. So hey Sam, I gotta find this. Uh... Okay, well if I'm a little kid, it would make sense. While why I'm so short, that does make sense. Where is this? God. Oh, the fuse box. Seriously. Power is turned off by storms and other forces. Your sanity will drain rapidly until the power is enabled. All le electrical equipment will be de in in disabled. Okay. Okay. So we're good. We're good. My sanity. How do I know what my sanity is even at? Is there a gauge? Can I look at my brain? Is my brain pulsating? Hopefully my brain's not pulsating. <laughs> Perfectly valid strategy. Well, I, I guess. What about under the bed? I think under the bed might be a little bit uh, better. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so don't forget my pills. I need my pills. What do I have to do? Clean up the dirt. Did that. Do the dishes. I gotta do the dishes here. Oh! She left out pizza. <laughs> and fries. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I did the dishes. <sighs> Okay, I'm just... Uh, yeah, there is. I'm just gonna leave all of this food. Cola. I don't see any serial killers out here. I think we're good. Filth dog bowl. Wait, it's gone! I guess I filled it. Alright. No, get, get out of there. Alright. Blah, blah, blah. Take your... Clean up dirt on the floor. I did that. Oh, I must have the dog food in my um, in my possession here. It's, except I don't really have any inventory. But this outside. I like. Yeah, I know. She needs to get healthier food. There's. You know what would be better if we could just take those French fries and put them right on side on top of this pizza and then just eat. That would be all right. All right. What's this? Oh, this is the garage. We don't need anything in here. Why can't we not lock that door? Turn that light switch off. Close that door. <laughs> it's worse, but it would be tasty. Why is there? What? Why is there cola and? Just brand Why is there a pizza on the floor? What is going on in this house? <laughs> Why is there just 
a pizza on the floor. Oh, I guess I didn't do that. All right, so let's let's turn that light on. All right. I guess there there's dirt all over the place. What is with this music? <laughs> is the is the killer out there? I don't see any murders. God. No, no flashlight, because Mom did not see fit to leave her darling Christopher with a flashlight or anything to defend himself with. Alright. No, they're not. What's that reverb? Reverberation. What is that sound? Did I close this door? I don't think I closed this door. Alright, I just gotta finish cleaning up all this dirt. Where is the dirt? I gotta take my pills. Where are my pills? Oh, there's more dirt on the floor. There was pizza, like, just randomly on the floor. Oh my god, what is, all, what is up with all of this dirt? Nice and clean. No, Chewy, stop. Don't you freak me out, cat. What are they doing in this house? Why is there, like, just piles of dirt everywhere? Ah, uh, here we go. To do this. Oh, this is from his mom. Um, all right. Full. No, I feel like I'm kind of a <laughs> kind of a slave here. <laughs> like she's kind of a slave driver. All right, but I need my pills. I gotta find my bedroom. Ah, here we go. Alright, where am I? Uh, maybe this is the bathroom. Oh my god. What is this? Move wall. My diary. My diary. 28th. Oh my god. I'm trying to read my fucking diary already. What is this? Oh, a flashlight. Yes, flashlight. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, I gotta turn that off. It 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 goes down by the second. This is worse than FNAF. <laughs> this this uh having. Uh, the light, the, the, the freaking fuse box. Okay, it keeps going out. I want to go back up and read that diary. I clearly, this child has some issues. And I don't blame him because his mom, mom leaves him home with pizza and french fries while she goes out and does God knows what. And she tells me if there's a serial killer that's out at the door, just hide in my closet. I mean... Seriously, this this just does not sound like a healthy environment for a child. Okay. Where is my bed? That's mom's, right? Yeah. What's this? Alright, so here we go. I want I want to read this diary. All right, the 20th of October, 1980. I found a hole in my closet today. It's smelly and old, but I feel safe in here. Like, nothing bad can happen to me in here. This is my own secret. If I told Dad, he would just cover it up and say it's dangerous or something. Eric was outside my window last night asking to come in and play. But when I asked Mom, she looked so scared and called Dad. When I told Eric he couldn't come in, he got so angry and walked away. 
29th of November. I went to the hospital today. The doctor said I should try writing in this journal to help them understand me. Oh, shit. Was that a door? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um... All right, uh, the doctor said I should try writing in this journal to help them understand me. I don't want to put my mom's making, wa don't want to, but my mom's making me. This feels so stupid and so pointless. They were talking a lot, but I was listening until my mom started crying. I'm so upset to her. I'm so used to her crying now, and Eric says she hates me. He probably, he's probably right. Everyone does. Uh, January 11th. No, no, no. It's November 1st, 1980. I gotta figure out this shit. The doctor gave me some pills to take. They make me so tired. I'm always asleep now. I feel asleep. I fell asleep in class and everyone made fun of me. Oh my god! Alright, fine. I'm sitting, in the, I'm sitting in the fucking dark. I want to finish this diary. I fell asleep in class and everyone made fun of me. Something inside me wants to stop taking these pills, but the doctor said it'll make me better. I took some more tonight and waited for Eric outside my window like every night, but he never showed up. I was so sad I feel like everyone I know hates me. Alright, I woke up this morning and saw Eric outside again. I was so happy. I talked to him for a while and he asked to come in, but I went to the front as I went to the front door, my mom shouted at me. I explained, but she was so mad. She kept saying Eric would never come in again. I think I know, it sounds very um intense. I think Eric overheard us talking because I heard him shouting outside. He seems really mad. I hope he still likes me. I drew some more pictures of me and Eric. Maybe I'll give him them to him tomorrow. Oh my god, and somebody took a really nasty dump. Oh, shit. Okay, how do I, uh... Alright, hold on, you guys. I gotta, I gotta cover this up. It's so bad, I can taste it. Who took that nasty dump, huh? Yes! <laughs> We're just so strong you can literally like taste it. Okay. I gotta finish this diary. Alright, I did some coloring today for mom. She put them on the fridge. She was so happy until I asked if Eric could come over for supper as he was outside. She looked so scared and gave me so many pills. I felt so sick and I threw up later. Yeah, I must have left again because I didn't see him all night after that. Alright, I'm starting to think that this kid is actually the psycho. And that Eric is, is all in his in his head or something. No cute poopies. No. They are not. I need to take my medicine. I don't even know where it is. decided that the uh, fuse box all the way back here was a good idea. I want to know. Alright, so I gotta take my pills. I gotta stuff my pills. It is very oddly shaped. This house is, this entire house is oddly shaped. So that this is my room. This is my um oof wall. Oh, I can move it. No, not anymore. Alright. Is this the bathroom? Oh my pills! Alright, I'm taking it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm tired of this damn. I'm tired of, you know what? No, well, maybe. Uh oh. I heard a 
They were closed. So like... Many lights on? I mean, what the heck? All right, I gotta turn some of these lights off. So now what do I do? I gotta... Alright, I did all my chores. I did everything. Lights go off again. They fucking went out again. Well, Bob said just go in my bedroom. Go in my closet. That's what I'm doing. I don't think Eric was a uh, figment of my imagination. I'm just gonna say here. Maybe it's like my imaginary friend that's really not there. And I, and instead of Eric doing all the murderings, it's actually Christopher. Because he's a psycho. Something's going on. They haven't taken pills for some reason. Well, you know what? I come out of the closet afterward. Well, nothing's happening. I think I just need to go turn on the... Uh, I need to go turn on the, the lights. He's not there. Oh, he is there. It's a bloody note! Hi, Christopher. It's Eric. I see no one's home tonight. Please, can you let me in? Your mom won't know I came in. We can play some games like hide and seek. I know how much you like hiding in your bedroom closet at night. Maybe you could start there. When the lights go off, you have 30 seconds, and then I'll come in. Get ready. Don't let me catch you. Oh, shit. I gotta run. Oh, no. It took too long to read the notes. Oh, my God. No. I no. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. He is gonna murder me. I've got in the closet! Oh my god. Okay, okay. We're we're fine, we're fine. Is that picture of of the skeleton my friend Eric? I don't know. Uh I don't know. I'm not dead. The music's back to normal again. Okay. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh god, I died! He found me! <laughs> Shit! <sighs> oh no! Is this not over? <laughs> or is this where I just... Oh shit. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm dead. I think I'm captured. What is this? <laughs> oh fuck. Well, 
help. I think this is my house. Everything looks really good. Cool. different. This is very different. I'm not sure what I need to be doing here. I think I'm stuck in my house, but... Did my friend Eric have a knife? I'm pretty sure he had a knife, didn't he? Uh, right, enough of that. Okay, so I can't get out of this. Maybe I have to go in the basement. Oh, God. Basement. What? What is going on? Why is everything upside down now? Diary one, how dare she take my only fucking child? I'm so sorry, Christopher. I'll do everything to get you back to your father, that fucking bitch. While I'm stuck here, rotting in this tiny apartment, she's out being some slut using my alimony and house to fuck whoever she wants. She'll pay. Oh, she'll pay. I have just the plan to really get to her for life. It involves a chain in her garage. I know she's out all night, so I'll sneak in and give her the biggest surprise of all fucking dead hanging body. See what help, bitch. What is it? What is this? <laughs> what? So that's his dad. No wonder. Wait, hold on. No wonder this kid is fucked up. His dad, like, hung himself and he found him. Oh my god. Is that me crying? There's nothing here. It's just... Uh. There's... I do have to say, though, I was expecting a lot more bugs in this house. I was really expecting some bugs. I don't see any bugs here. Do you guys see bugs? I'm a little disappointed. I feel like I need to get into here somehow. How do I get in there? I think that's where the crying's come from. Um, I don't think there are more. They're all the same ones. Maybe it's upstairs. Let's see. Oh, here. Here, here it is. Mom's diary. I can't take this anymore. It feels like this whole house is cursed. Like it's slowly eating at me. I feel like I'm dying inside. Nothing feels right anymore. Christopher's constant crying and whining about Eric. My husband's attitude and always starting unnecessary arguments. Just yesterday, he pulled a knife out on me with this crazed look yelling about finally ending it all. I just took Christopher and ran to Mom's house. God, why did I marry him? I've decided a divorce is the only thing left for us. This relationship has gone on for far too long. Far too long, James. This needs to end now, otherwise I don't think I'll survive any longer. I'm crying every night now, only the wine is calming my nerves. I can feel the other moms at Christopher's school staring at me every day. The 
this house is cursed. Well, some hissing cockroaches would be pretty, pretty good. They'd be pretty welcome at this point. Alright, so I need to go to... Oh, I, I want a bug, like insects. I thought it was like a bug house, like there are going to be bugs coming out at me or something. I don't know. I thought it might be kind of something. That's what I'm thinking. It might have been Christopher. What's this? Is that the mop? Still. Okay, here we go. Something else. <laughs> Diary. Eric has started to act really strange. He's been telling me to do things which I don't want to do. He said I had to kill a cat, otherwise Mom would be hurt. I didn't do it, but Mom seems upset now. Did I do something wrong? Maybe Eric was right. Last night we had a pizza party. God, stupid lightning! Last night we had a pizza party with Dad and Mom. It was so fun dancing and eating pizza all night long. I got tired though and started to draw Eric, who was watching us play and dance all night long. She saw me drawing and looked scared. I said he was outside, but she didn't believe me. She got really mad, so I ran and hid in my secret room. He never found me. Mom said I need to go for a checkup today, so I don't feel sick. Eric said it was a trick, but I don't believe him. I'm starting to see him a lot more now, which I don't mind. He's always so funny and kind to me. Not to my mom and dad, though. Oh boy. I'm telling you, Christopher is this uh, is his like uh, imaginary friend, and he's gonna get him to kill peoples. All right. So, is there anything else? <laughs> I know. We want, this is this is not right. Uh, not right. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of pills. Diary 4. Dr. Schultz Edwards. Dr. What? His name is Schultz Edwards. Dr. Schultz Edwards report. Christopher's mother has brought in Christopher today for a well-being checkup. At first glance, he appeared normal, however, with a glazed, fixed stare outside the window. He seemed normal at first, although when he mentioned he could see someone smiling outside the window, I became suspicious as we were on the sixth floor after all. After analyzing Christopher for most ailments of his age, I believe PTSD and or psychoactive disassociative disorder fits the closest. However, this is rare in someone his age and has no real treatment apart from a constant dose of a sedation. I need to delve deeper into this young boy. He seems as if he is at a breaking point. Christopher has a possible alternate personality called Eric. Extreme caution must be taken when evaluating Christopher due to the sensitive nature of this condition. No relapse at this moment in time. Citation and extra analysis. Yep, that's what I thought. This Eric is a, uh, yep, not a good thing. Diary 5. 
Eric's diary. Eric's diary. Thank you, Christopher. Really, you allowed me to become free. You're exactly where I've been these past years, waiting and waiting and waiting for you to let me free. Now it's time for Eric to become in control for a while. All the doctors were wrong, Christopher. They just wanted to hurt you and take you away from me. But you listened to my commands. Those pills hurt me and helped me from take control much sooner. I can't wait for you to see what we become. We have become together. I know this is confusing, Christopher. I wish I could better explain. So instead, allow me to take control even more. Allow me to commit my final act, Christopher. Allow myself inside you. Oh, great. No! Shit! No! Oh, God! Oh, God! He's right there! So can I actually get out? I don't know if I can actually get out. What? Oh shit, I think I'm in a uh, in the, in the mental hospital newspaper. 10 year anniversary of murder. This very day marks the 10th anniversary of the horrific Moore's residence murder. The bloody crime scene was acted out by the, by the once 13 year old Christopher Moore, who was reportedly in a psychotic episode. He is now spending his life in the local Greenfield State Institution for the Insane, otherwise referred to by the locals as the Bug House of Greenfield, due to its holding of the most criminally dangerous and insane. Neighbors called police when sounds of screaming came from the residence, which turned out to be Christopher stabbing his own mother over 73 times. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Christopher's defense was that he was suffering from multiple personality disorder, a new, new disorder discovered by Dr. Schultz Edwards in 1983. The jury pled insanity, and he was spared the death penalty. Christopher, who is now 23 years old, is still being held in the bug house of Greenfield. Christopher still claims to this day that Eric killed his mother, not him. What is all this mess? What is all this mess? Oh, I bet I know what that mess is. That was it. That was the, that was bug house. That was bug house. Okay, another game in which we are the bad guy. <sighs> all right. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Um, because I've got other games we can pop in. No, but like seriously, I'm kind of bummed. I was hoping it was like like insect bugs. <laughs> that would be creepy, right? Yeah, loud creaky and jumpy noises for sure. All right, let's let's um let's get out of this game.